We got your weeknight dinner. We did the shake and bake. We brung it out. We fried some pork chops. We got some green beans and some garlic and some homemade buttermilk biscuits. Griddle cooking at its finest. Bring me back to my roots. Here we go. To get started, just to be honest with you, we're gonna have to hurry up, get on our game to do. It is a cool 97 degrees today, so if we're making biscuits outside, you better hurry up. So, one stick of butter to two and a half cups of flour. We're making buttermilk biscuits. I'm gonna grate the butter. While the flour was in the freezer, I actually put that buttermilk in the freezer with it as well. So, make a well, add the buttermilk, just stir, I don't know, 15 times or so, just enough to combine it. A little dusting of flour. Notice how crumbly it is. That's actually what you're looking for. And now we're gonna start folding it. As we fold it, that's gonna create your layers, okay? So, roughly half inch to an inch. You see the flakes starting to develop right now. That's what you're looking for. Oven set at 475. We're gonna cook these indoors while we get the pork chops and the green beans and garlic ready. See how it's tightening it up on you? So we could probably handle one more without overworking it. Just like that. See how it stays together now instead of breaking? That looks pretty good. We're gonna roll out to about a half inch thick. I just like to pat it out. I'm not that worried. Sheet tray, and when you're doing your biscuits, just go straight down. Don't twist. I'll show you really quick. And that allows your biscuits to flake up. See what I'm just barely, barely almost touching? Yep, because it'll actually sit on top of each other. Leave a little gap if you need to. And that will also help your biscuits rise. In the oven, 475. This is, just came out. Top these with a little melted butter as well. Can't have too much butter with biscuits. I know my kids are gonna be excited. And this is what I'm calling perfect accompaniment to a fried pork chop green bean dinner. Mm, mm, mm. The whole reason why we're here, the good old classic shake and bake. There's a couple different more varieties out of there, but growing up we had this somewhat I found out that when I got married, we actually had it typically like once a week with a daughter just because we felt like um, she enjoyed it. It was easy for us coming home from work, throw something together really quick, and that's what today is all about. Not every recipe do we do is super in-depth, 35 ingredients, start from scratch and work your way all the way up. It's classic. It's classic uh, like griddle style. It's classic country style, and this is really who I am at heart. Shake and bake. Love it or hate it, I don't care. We're loving it. So this is the idea. Pork chops, you can do chicken breast, buttermilk biscuits looking fantastic. All right, I'm just gonna use one pack of shake and bake, I guess with their new instructions, they don't come with their bag anymore to help offset the cost of plastic. Interesting. So one pack all over your counter. That's typically saves you. We'll see if we can get bottled with one pack. I doubt it. We'll open two. I know what you're thinking. How in the world are you gonna bake on the griddle? Never really liked it baked. We've always fried it and that's what we're gonna do. So really quickly, just got a pack of pork chops here and per package instructions, it says to moisten with water and that's what we're gonna do. My daughter's cheerleading hairspray bottle. <laughs> uh, this just helps the uh, breading to stick. As you might expect guys, we're not reinventing the wheel. Look at that, that is fantastic for the griddle. Just as simple as that looks. We got some garlic and we've got some green beans. The grill's heating up. We're gonna run a two zone system. We're gonna be running a medium heat right here for the shallow fry along with medium and medium. And honestly, it's just as easy as it seems. We're gonna fry the pork chops, 
saute those green beans add some uh, water and dump them for some moisture at the very end add that butter and garlic and some seasonings and there we go there's my country dinner for the week all righty just like when we do a shallow fry we add a little oil down to heat up just for a second it doesn't take long Looky there, shake and bake on the griddle, baby. Turn and burn. Rolls on low, just a touch, a scoosh. This is fresh green beans if you're interested. I used to be a huge stickler for having an even level griddle. Now, the more I do it, the more experience I get on it, I'm telling you, I love the fact that I can pull the oil in a position where I can keep it there. It's a little bit off the heat. You guys know most griddles, like, you know, the corners are typically pretty cooler, kind of like reserve. And then you get to flip it over. And look at that right there. Look at that. Right in that pool of oil. That browning right there. Ooh. What was she making? She made something with it. I don't remember. Do you remember? I don't know. Even she liked it. We'll shake that. Give it just a second. And then we're going to hit it with that fresh garlic right at the end. We're not beating around the bush. I'm not going for the green beans. I'm not going for my flick, flick, thick, fluffy buttermilk biscuits. Those things will be slathered in molasses in a minute. Yes, butter and molasses. Pork chop, juicy, crunchy. Shake and bake, baby. Mmm. I see. So much better than bacon. Mmm. Hmm. That's good. Mmm. Green beans are good too. Obviously your scalloped potatoes, your mashed potatoes, whatever you decide to do. But there we go. Mmm. Little weeknight dinner on the griddle, a little vegetable and biscuit action. If you guys are interested, hit that join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. That thing's juicy. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and also Facebook, The Griddle Group. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. <sighs> I'm chowing down. That's good. Kids will like that too. They will. That's a family favorite. Kids, I like it. <laughs> mm.